Uh, Jeff, we never ever really talk or start with Bitcoin, but I just had to get your take. Like, when you look at the commodity world, how do you think about Bitcoin? Well, if you overlay a chart of Bitcoin on the price chart for copper, they look very similar. And what do they have in common? They're both risk on growth proxies. And I would argue that Bitcoin is um, the retail inflation hedge. Um, you look at gold, people like to say it stole demand from gold. There's really no evidence that it has. Gold is still a defensive asset. Um, it has traded lockstep with the way, the way it should in this big you know, rotation you know, towards you know, defensive assets or away from defensive assets, that cyclical rotation. So yeah, I, I don't argue, I don't think there's any, um, you know, gold and Bitcoin can coexist. And, you know, in terms of thinking about the run up in Bitcoin this year, remember what happened to iron ore? Remember what happened mm -hmm. to copper? Um, they're behaving very similarly. So it's so interesting. So you look at it as a risk on asset. Does it have then a correlation to things like the dollar uh, yields or real yields or no? It used to. Now it just has a correlation to copper. Um, which people are using for a proxy as you know the risk gone to you know a you know global um, economic boom you know that's currently going on in places like China and uh, potentially going on if you get the vaccine take hold in the Western Hemisphere. Um, so it's 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 acting much more like you know your typical risk on asset than a defensive asset.